Yep. All right. Uh, well, if you want to know what people are thinking about the pandemic, the questions to our Dr. Frank McGeorge might be a good place to look. Tonight, concerns about boosters, Omicron, and gathering with family top the list. Dr. McGeorge joins us live to answer more of your pressing questions, Doc. Yeah, Kim. So a viewer named Linda asks, is there a booster shot available for the Johnson and Johnson vaccine without using Moderna or Pfizer as a booster? If so, what age group does it cover? So the answer, Linda, is yes, there is a Johnson and Johnson booster available. It is simply a second dose of the original J&J &J vaccine, and it's frankly available anywhere that is offering the J&J &J vaccine. It is authorized for age 18 and up. Now, here are some more of your questions. A viewer asks, I'm 23, healthy, and fully vaccinated. This weekend, it will be six months since my second vaccine, making me eligible for the booster. With the new Omicron variant, should I get the booster now or wait to see if Pfizer adjusts their booster? The best estimate is that there wouldn't be an Omicron-specific vaccine available for at least three months, and that's if it's even necessary. Those evaluations aren't completed yet. I would recommend getting the currently available booster. Ryan writes, it is said that by getting vaccinated, you are not only protecting yourself, but also others. How does getting vaccinated protect others if you can still get sick and spread it to others? Well, Ryan, you are correct. Vaccinated people can be infected and contagious, but they are less likely to be infected to begin with, and they appear to shed less virus for a shorter time, improving the protection for others. And Nancy asks, currently vaccines are being tested for efficacy against the new Omicron variant, which makes me wonder if the virus mutates significantly, is it possible that current COVID tests could no longer recognize the virus? Most lab-based PCR tests check for at least three different parts of the SARS-CoV-2 gene. For the virus to become undetectable, all three would need to have mutated, and so far that has not been seen. But your question leads to a valuable point. One of the ways the Omicron variant is being detected is that there is a mutation causing one of the three parts, the S gene, to not turn positive. That so-called S gene dropout is actually a hallmark of both the Alpha and Omicron variants. Now, finally, a viewer named Lolly writes, I've received my two shots and my booster, but I'm afraid I could still catch something from someone who's not vaccinated. I wear my mask, but my relatives are not vaccinated and they are coming over to my house and I am very afraid. So, Lolly, it actually makes me sad that you are afraid. Getting vaccinated and masking, those are the two biggest things that you can do to protect yourself. And I hope that does help with your fear. But I really also suggest that you talk to your relatives openly about your concerns. Back to you. It's a difficult conversation to have, and I know a lot of people will be talking about it this holiday season. All right, Dr. McGeorge, thank you.